All right, so let's see how to install Mac OS in Windows using VirtualBox. So I will uh, start with uh, downloading the Mac OS. So uh, there are multiple results, but I will go with Internet Archive. And after coming here, I will just click on Show All Options. And the latest versions of Mac don't work well with uh, VirtualBox, so I am going to download big sir and this one is the file and i click on it and it is around 13 gb so it will start downloading so in my case i have already downloaded it so let's directly start with that after that another thing is uh downloading a uh, virtual box virtual box and okay so i will open this second link and go here click on windows installer and it will start downloading all the uh, the file and after the download is complete, we are going to first uh, start the installation of VirtualBox and then we are going to load a file. So this is the setup wizard and click on next. I will accept this agreement and click on next and I will again click on next. Uh, when I will click on yes, it will temporarily disconnect me from the internet and I will allow it. So there are some prerequisites that need to be downloaded and I will click on yes and I will uncheck this one and click on next and I will install it. So it will take a few minutes to install. So after the installation is uh, completed, I will click on finish. So here is the interface of uh, Oracle VirtualBox and I will click on new. And first, we need to give a name. So I will give a name back over S. Uh, yes. And I will select, uh, I will browse the ISO. This is the disk file, and I will click on open and I will click on next. So I have 16 GB of RAM, so I will make it 8 GB. So that is 8192 MB, that is equal to 8 GB. And for the processors, I will give it six processors and I will click on next. And if you have enough space, then allow it at least 100 GB and click on next and just finish. Now just go to settings, go to display settings, make this video memory 128 MB. Now come to USB and click on USB 3.0 and just click on OK. So after this, uh, just completely close uh, VirtualBox. Now the next thing you need to do is just uh, download this VirtualBox extension pack and you need to install it. So here I will click on install and this will install uh, some additional features that we require. And it will save us from malfunctions. Uh, click on I agree and I will allow it. Yes, and it will start installing. So, after installing the uh, extension pack, you just need to restart your PC. Now, you just need to open this file provided in the description. And now, uh, based on your processor, uh, either you have Intel or AMD processor. So, I have Intel processor and I will copy these commands. And what I'm going to do is open command prompt and open it as administrator. And I'll click on yes and I'll paste all this up. Before that, just replace your uh, replace this VM name with your uh, original uh, name of your VM. So I will replace it with Mac OS and I'll click on replace all and now i'm going to copy it again and now i'm going to paste it in the command so i will just right click open as administrator click on yes and paste all these commands so after running all these commands successfully uh, now we are good to go and now we can open our virtual box And click on start so here you can see it has started initializing uh, so here the setup has started and it will take another few minutes so once this screen appears you can select your language I'll select uh, English India and I'll click on the next arrow 
Now here you have four options and just select uh, disk utility. So in the top left corner, select only hard disk media and just click on erase and give a name to your uh, disk and I will give a uh, virtual Mac for us and just click on erase. And it will erase it in a few minutes. After the process is complete, just click on done and exit the disk utility. And just click on the second option install Mac OS picture. And now this screen will appear, and you just need to click on continue. And just agree to the terms and conditions. Just select a virtual Mac OS that is that you recently created and just click on continue. So here yeah, it will take a minimum of 30 minutes uh, depending on your PC and it may restart several times during the installation.